In this interesting episode, we are talking about the latest Carter Jeeps transfer news. Ngozi Matala has been identified as, look, as a potential Kaza Chiefs player. Ngozi Matala is a player that plays for Stellenbosch. He is very, very young. And the latest news, according to kickoff.com or Sia crew, they have, they have this to say that Kaza Chiefs have identified him as the next Kaza Chiefs player. So you want to know more about that? Stick around. And to those that will stick around, guys, if you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Because to subscribe, it is free. To like the video, it is free. To comment in the comment section below, guys, it is free of charge. Back to the video. Now, kickoff.com, guys, have blessed us with the latest news. And the latest news being that Kadachids have identified Ngozi Matala as the next potential Kaiser Chiefs player. Uh, in fact, one can agree or concur that it's either Kaiser Chiefs and Stellenbosch have, have got a good relationship or Kaiser Chiefs admire the development process that does occur at Stellenbosch. Stellenbosch FC also have confirmed that uh, Ngozi Matala will be among the players that will be leaving Stellenbosch. They have about seven players, including Zeta Quinica, who is already going to Kazajib. So it tells you that Stellenbosch are ready to sell Nkosi Matala. Let's move that out of, out of, out of the way. It's not like Kazajib want a player that they, are, they, are, they, they have no interest in selling. They have all the interest to sell the player. Steve Parker on the last game confirmed that among the players that will be leaving Stellenbosch this season, uh, it was his se last season, it is Ngozi Mata, the same player that Carter Chiefs have identified as a good uh, as a potential uh, Carter Chiefs player. I know that a lot of you guys are not aware or, or you not necessarily you're not aware, let me say so, yes, you're not aware of these players because obviously they, stay, they are they are, stay, they are playing for a team like Stellenbosch. Maybe if they are playing for a team like Sandals or Lord of Pirate and maybe, you know what I'm saying, or if they had played for those teams and go back to those uh, smaller teams and come back, you would have been aware of them. So, uh, a little bit of profiling when it comes to these players, it is good there and there. So, I'm going to be doing that going forward. But for now, what I'm going to tell you is that the player has been playing um, a very a very important role and he's one of the key players uh, that, has, uh, that has helped Stellenbosch to be where they are. And the good thing is he is very young, coming from development and you know, you come from a development and then you get into the, 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 the first team and you're doing exceptionally well and Stellenbosch wants to make money out of these players. They want to cash out from these players. So it is clear the person with a good offer is the person that is going to get Ngozi Matana. But if you are a Carter Chiefs fan, rest assured, Carter Chiefs wants to sign him. So it's not a matter of they don't want, they don't, do they want him or not, but it's a matter of, um, it's a matter of do they have the sufficient amount of money that is needed in order for them to get Ngozi Matala from Stellenbosch. So I know I'm talking to knowledgeable individuals. So for me to know exactly what is in your mind and what you know about him, and do you want him to count the chips? There's only one way to find out. It is for you to comment in the comment section below. So let the conversation begin right now, right here. 